Day to every one of you tuning in from all over the nations. It is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. You're at the right place at the right time to hear this message titled Trust and Rely on God Alone for the 29th of October. Glory to God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, from where our opening verse is read, beautifully writes, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In a world filled with imperfect human systems, it is crucial to shift our trust from these fallible structures and wholly trust in the Lord. The failures and limitations of human systems serve as reminders to us that our ultimate trust should be in the one who is completely reliable, the Lord. Hallelujah! Some time ago, news aired of a man who was planning to sue his state government for being wrongfully convicted. He endured 37 long years in prison for a crime he never committed. It's truly disheartening to think about. There are others who have remained behind bars for crimes they did not commit as a result of the failure and inadequacies of the system and their government. Humans naturally feel the need to trust and depend on something or someone. We were not designed to be faithless. We were meant to have faith or to be trusting. However, because humans are fallible, systems run by individuals are also prone to failure. It makes no difference how lofty or robust you think the systems and structures of your nation or society are, it is still fallible. Trust and rely on God alone. Follow and live by His word. Trust the principles, systems and structures of the kingdom. The prophet Jeremiah is inspired by the Spirit wrote in Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 7 to 8, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Hallelujah. Then in Psalm chapter 37 verse 3, the psalmist said, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Cultivate absolute reliance on God instead of the frail or flawed human constructs. He never fails. He is righteous and just, faithful and true. Trust Him wholeheartedly. Praise be unto our God, now and forevermore. How comforting are these words to know that your Father in heaven is faithful to his word because it never fails. Glory to God. I invite you now to kindly take this prayer together as you repeat after me. Dear Father, I place my ultimate trust in you and your infallible word. I lean on your wisdom and understanding and wholly depend on you. Thank you, Lord, for granting me the discernment and wisdom to live triumphantly every day and manifest your glory and righteousness. In Jesus' name, Amen. For more insight on today's teaching, kindly refer to these scriptures given by our man of God to study further in Psalm chapter 118 verse 8, Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6, and Isaiah chapter 26 verse 4. Hallelujah! 
The Word of God is such a treasure. And thank God for this platform that you can receive His Word so easily and in various languages. Take advantage of this opportunity by subscribing to this channel and following daily articles released by our man of God for your edification. You can also share this audio message on all your social media outlets because they are meant to bless our hearers with the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ with just one click. You can also download the Rhapsody of Realities from the website in our description and distribute it to your family and friends. This is your set time to make great impact in your world with the gospel. So plan for it and continue to inundate your spirit with the word of God through meditation. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you Lord for saving my soul I have eternal life now I'm a child of God now I am born again thank you Lord if you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris congratulations welcome to the family of God Rhapsody of Realities Giving you life for meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody